We just spent all day testing these three phones. Jordan hates this phone. I hate this phone. So we need to buy a new one. It's time for you to decide. It's done. What'd you get? We'll get back to Jordan in a second, but first let's talk a bit more about the Pixel 3. I'm working with Best Buy on this video and they're a perfect partner because they allowed me to basically choose from everything they have and just talk about it. And they have all the electronics you want. And I wanted to talk about the Pixel 3a because this is a super interesting phone. Phone, I was about to call it a camera. Interesting phone, but because of its camera. When this first came out, Brandon Havard did a video talking about how this is a perfect camera for a lot of people. Like they should be buying it as a camera instead of most other point and shoots. And I think he had a really great point. And I've been thinking about it since and finding more and more when people are asking me, what camera should I buy? A lot of the time they're looking to buy something under a thousand dollars. They want something that is gonna look better than the cell phone they have, but they're not always ready to go buy a full on DSLR or a bigger mirrorless camera. But it's also where the camera market has gone because camera phones have gotten so good that the point and shoot market is kind of disappearing. So all of a sudden for people that aren't interested in spending the money on a flagship phone, the Google Pixel 3a becomes a great camera choice. Camera choice, not just phone choice for a lot of people. And if you don't already know, it already has the exact same camera as the Google Pixel 3, which a lot of people consider to be the best camera of 2019. Personally, I didn't, but it is an amazing camera. So having it in this smaller, cheaper body is crazy. So first I had to prove to myself that it is actually that good. So we went to the Calgary Stampede, which is an amazing festival, carnival fair in Calgary that we go to every year. Took a bunch of sample photos and surprise, surprise, they look great. There is tons of dynamic range in these photos. They are sharp, the colors are great. I'd say they have a little more contrast than I prefer in my photos. But first thing I do every time I pick up an Android phone is I go to the display settings and I change the color to natural. If you're always looking at the super saturated colors that an Android phone encourages, you might adjust your photos to be less saturated. So other people using say iPhones won't see the same saturation you were seeing when you edited it. So after spending some time testing it, I can safely say this is the best non-flagship phone that I've used. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I'm primarily an iPhone user, but I was curious, how would this perform against the other most affordable iPhones, which are still way more expensive than the Google Pixel 3a? So this really, I mean, it shouldn't stand a chance because it's like half the price. Let's see how it does. Rolling. Hi, Tyler. It's Jordan. Uh, would you be able to help me choose a smartphone without yelling at me? iPhone? You're gonna join that cult again? You're, I don't. I don't want to learn new things. So I've got Chris and Jordan here from DP Review TV. Jordan needs a new phone. He doesn't know what to get. I need to test the new Google Pixel 3a. So we've also got the iPhone 10R and 10, and we're gonna compare all X. of these. Kind we're gonna compare these three. <laughs> Chris is behind the camera today, I'm amazed. I think you're doing a great job. No, it's okay, I appreciate that. I do enjoy being behind the camera sometimes. Usually when I don't have to do my hair and I can wear a hat, <laughs> but I guess not today. Okay, we're back to the studio. Now we're gonna download the photos. All right, here's the first shot we took, which I mean, illustrates what we're gonna see again and again. Basically, the both of the newer phones are giving us quite a bit more dynamic range, yeah. the, the 10R and the, the shadows there. Yeah. yeah, so in the 10, um, it's funny because the clouds are retained, like the, yeah. the HDR is working pretty well in those clouds, but uh, you know, I mean, his, his shirt just disappears. Yeah. There's so are... much more detail happening. Yeah. So if we drop out the 10, I mean. Yeah, get rid of the 10. You know what? Screw it. Yeah. Done. Okay. We're not no 10. At, no more 10 stuff. I'm anymore. still going to look at the photos, but right. you, you don't have to buy it. But you know, more or less, these are kind of a draw to me. Yeah, they're very comparable. And again, this was done with the default pixel mode. HDR. Enhanced sight. And if we just pixel peep for a second. Um, I, I don't mean, want to, it's over sharp. They both, they're both like pretty sharp. The Pixel 3 is much sharper, especially the background. Mm -hmm. um, the, the building is, is a little mushier on the iPhone, but it is sharpening. I don't think that the sensor is actually sharper on even no. these. I think it's just a, a processing choice. Wow, looking good. It's a lie, but that's okay. Which one makes my gut look smaller? I think the Pixel. Oh, no, wait. No, they all do. This is one of the most interesting examples because well, you're testing so many things. With yeah, this. we got a lot going on here. In this example, we, we do actually have a little bit of clipping up in these clouds here in the 3A. This right. is using HDR plus enhanced mode. Right. Well, and this is the kind of shot, it's a little more deliberate, it's slower. I would use the night site for that. Color wise, like we can see some differences in the yellow, uh, especially the pink. It's funny, yellow pops more in the 
Google and the pink pops yeah. more. And then the red here is shifting hard to where right, it's right. like an orange. Yeah, um, yeah. In the pixel. But you know what? They both look good. If either of these images was posted online, like nobody would not enjoy the other one. They wouldn't know what they're missing. But they're, from they're quite the expression, similar. Chris is preferring the pixel. So Actually, I'm going to have to go yeah, with that I one. like that yeah. shot of Chris. He looks great. Yeah. So Jordan and Chris, they're from DP Review TV. DP Review is the place I've gone for camera reviews my whole life. Like it's the number one resource. But you guys haven't really done cell phones before, right? We haven't. No, the site's done them, but we have never yeah. reviewed smartphones before. It's time. Jordan, you tell me you need a new phone? I, I do. I've got this 6S that's been with me for God knows how long, like four years at this point. There's a river over here if you want yeah, to see we'll how just, far it skips. Uh, but we're doing Instagram and I'm actually using my phone to record like viewfinders and stuff like that. So I need something with decent image quality and the image quality now on these is so much better. Let's look at some portrait modes. I don't shoot in portrait mode a lot because I find that if it makes a mistake, I just don't like the photo. So I'll pick up the DSLR. The, the actual cropping and like the way that the um, iPhone 10 looks, it's it's decent. Like yeah. the, the blur is okay. The blur is as good as the others, but uh, the dynamic range is where we're totally losing shot, out here. Yeah. yeah, really blown out. Let's get rid of the 10. Yeah, get rid of the 10. <laughs> you just said 10. Hey, I'm learning. I mean, I really see the Pixel 3a as doing a, a better job of isolating, yeah. but the way that the iPhone does it is more natural. It leaves some fall off. So there's a harder edge around yeah. the pixel. Like it really- Yeah, like his shirt is really the shirt to jacket there. The exactly. pixel is just yeah. like sharpie, sharp, sharp, gone. Yeah, and on yeah. this, we get that nice smooth, except like it's still doing weird shit on his hair. Overall, I think with the two approaches to portrait mode here, more average people are gonna like what the Pixel 3 does. Yeah. It, it's kind of more punchy, yeah. but the uh, iPhone I think appeals more to photographers that understand what a natural fall off looks like. I think it will uh, appeal if you it's care. Like, this could fool me, me you know, right. where this, I, yeah, I feel like there's less convincing. Yeah. yeah, Always in portrait mode. You get these crazy little things that kind of break. Uh, it's interesting, they're breaking in quite different ways. This is the, the iPhone, it, it like smudges and blurs it out. And then oh. looking, yeah, very, uh, this this kind of that, broke worse. That weirdness, yeah, right yeah. in the highlight there. It doesn't always do that. I've looked at both photos. Sometimes the pixel does better, but in this example, I mean, the pixel draws more attention to itself. All right, looking at low light photos, we know that the pixel's night sight is the absolute champion. Every other reviewer has already talked about this. It does an incredible job and Apple really needs to catch up here. I think these shots weren't actually dark enough to really show what it can do. Basically just turn all the lights off in a room and it, it can see in the dark. I haven't been allowed to touch any of these cameras today, so it's hard to I cannot make man, any right? sort of calls or, yeah. or or have any fun or really get to you know enjoy my day the front of the camera is a lot of hard work you know right. it's if, if you're gonna do it well it's difficult so no this is uh this is like a vacation if you're gonna do this it is well like, yeah this is like a vacation for me now let's look at our big dynamic range test here we we see a lot of what's happening and this is like the exciting thing about new yeah. cameras is how far they can go with dynamic range so i like this test uh looking over at the two examples of the 10 here uh, one of them goes too dark, and this is when I tapped on the clouds. So yeah. we're exposing for the clouds. Yeah. And then this goes too like, dark. Like, yeah, in the back alley and stuff there, too. You yeah. can see it's just boosted nothing. And else. now here I tapped on the building. We have detail in the building, but the clouds are blown out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 10 is not performing okay. as well. No 10. And now we've got over here, these are two examples from the Pixel 3a. Mm -hmm. This one is shot using HDR plus mode. What it would default to, right? Yeah, if exactly. So. Snapping Still picture. HDR. Right. This is using night sight, so we start getting some of that like extreme it's dynamic so range. So much better. And then over here is using smart HDR on the iPhone, which is on by default. And you have to go into the settings and turn it off. It's not quick to turn off. Whereas these are meant to be like flipped between them more easily. Right. I mean, if I just push the button, this is what I'm going to get the majority of the time. Where yeah, digging into night sight mode. And the big thing, your camera feels like it's operating normally when right. we're using the. Uh, the XR, but then once we jump over to the Pixel there, you can definitely feel like you're making it work Slows when you down. use the night sight mode. I'm surprised how bad the HDR plus is. Let's just ditch it and look at the night sight. Um, I would also say the HDR is pushing it a little, it's a little heavy handed for my taste. Mm -hmm. You can see it start to like create some weird contrast stuff yeah, in the it looks clouds like in the bad sky. Burning, yeah. um, but I would say that a lot of people, if they just glanced at these two photos on Instagram, let's say, mm -hmm. I bet the pixel would get more likes. <laughs> I have to get a less wobbly table. Here's a shootout I actually haven't done before is the video on all three of these cameras. I've heard that's a place where the pixel falls down and the iPhone really has an advantage. 
I want to see if that's true. Jordan is uh, making sure the stabilization and all these cameras is about the same. So what we should be seeing right now is the difference between all three of these cameras in video mode. They all have optical stabilization. They should do a pretty good job of that. And they also do some digital stabilization in post. Jordan, it's time to decide. Oh, dramatic. I'm just waiting for Jordan to arrive at Best Buy here. Whatever Jordan ends up choosing, this was a really interesting comparison. Obviously, these cameras are priced very differently. The iPhone is way more expensive, but I wanted to put them next to each other because they are so often compared. So now we're choosing between price, if you go for the Pixel, mm -hmm. and kind of our preferred images if you go for the 10R. I mean, the Pixel images were amazing, but I don't really want to switch systems at the end of the day, and this was available in Coral. Jordan, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Anytime. If you want to see the rest of the story, you can check out DP Review with the link in the description below. In the end, Jordan decided to stick with the Apple ecosystem, but I gotta say that Pixel really held up well, especially considering it's half the price of the phone that he bought. And it actually beat the iPhone 10 in most cases, and it's half the price of that as well. So the Pixel 3a may not be Jordan's next phone, but I think it could be yours. If it fits the right price point, they made a lot of the right compromises and I think this is a fantastic phone. If you want to see Jordan's perspective of the story, go to DP Review TV on YouTube, or he also came on the podcast and we did a review of every single camera that I use and own, and it was really in-depth and really fun. So go to stallmanpodcast.com for that. And thanks again to Best Buy for sponsoring this video. See you guys next time. What's next? All right, next we have the A7 III. The best Sony Yet, yeah. Other than the A9, I mean, they've made so much. They keep talking about how we're number two now in the photo business, and it, and it's all because of we're number two. two. <laughs> okay, yeah. there will be that chant at yeah. the next press event. I'm at. I'm sure. <laughs>